Hollywood director Ryan Johnson has revealed that Daniel Craig's Benoit Blanc will be back for a third outing in the Knives Out franchise. The 49-year-old director is currently enjoying roaring success on Netflix following the release of Glass Onion, A Knives Are Mystery, his second in a series of murder mystery comedy dramas. The first film, simply titled Knives Hour, was released in cinemas in 2019 and raked in over £250 million worldwide at the box office. And now the sequel has been unleashed on Netflix, following a very limited cinema release, and has shot to the top of the most viewed charts around the world. Speaking to Wired, Ryan explained that he is already planning a third film in the franchise, and that he is writing them so they can be watched in any order as Daniel's private detective Benoit cracks cases around the world. He was asked if the fact the second film is clearly set in 2020 and references the pandemic might change his original plan for all the films in the series to be standalone. He replied, so much of what I'm trying to do, because I'm starting to write the next one, is really just about trying to clear my head and think about what's on my mind right now. Hopefully that translates in some way to what's on all of our minds right now in terms of culture. Having thereby confirmed a third story is being worked on, and by association, confirming 54-year-old Daniel's return as the lead character, he went on to give away some curious details about the Bond star. While filming the second film, the cast enjoyed meals together where Daniel would end up playing records and DJing. Asked what Daniel would play, Ryan replied, it's a good mix of like, dad rock and the type of stuff you would expect a cool guy from England would play. One thing we all learned, though, is that he does not like jazz. Leslie, Odom Jr., tried to put on some jazz and Daniel was like, not my thing. While Daniel looks set to play Benoit again, he last year waved goodbye to the Bond franchise, after previously saying that he hated the role so much he wanted to kill himself. Anticipation is high for who will replace the rubber-lipped actor in the role as the MI6 spy, with British actor Aaron Taylor-Johnson a surprise front-runner. According to reports last month, Bond producer Barbara Broccoli has been impressed by the 32-year-old actor after seeing a screen test of him in the iconic role. A source told The Sun, Aaron went for a screen test to be the next Bond in September and producers and Barbara loved him. He is now one of the frontrunners. Meanwhile, other sources claim the actor has already filmed the iconic gun barrel teaser scene which traditionally rolls at the beginning of every Bond movie. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.